morning. It is, I think, day five. On a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Today's Wednesday. Maybe it's day six. Yeah, I lost count. So, uh, looks like I'm standing in the woods. There's a trail that takes you to where um, I'm going to fish. I'm going to carry my kayak down. And I forgot my phone and something to drink while I'm in the water. I haven't had my coffee this morning, so a little, uh, little out of it, I guess. I'm used to having caffeine early and getting a good spunk of energy. But um, as you can see, this trail just kind of opens up to another section of water. And there we are. One sec. So when you come out of the trail, you can't even tell it's there. I just come out of that trail right there. And uh, our camper's up that hill. Come out of the trail, go on another section. Nice little playground down there. The playhouse here. Um, this is a super quiet place. I think the audio is okay. I put my phone in a uh, more water resistant case. My phone's already waterproof. I figure I'd just double up. One sec. So it's slightly overcast today. Uh, something's trying to break through. There's some blue skies coming. Uh, I got up super early and catch some bait and I haven't caught any bait yet. Uh, so I'm really just now getting on the kayak, going around to all the docks, using bread and my minnow trap. And um, this is the first place where my kayak's sitting here that um, I actually saw minnows in the water. So I threw some bread out, chum, threw my trap out. Decided to go back and get my phone, give it a few minutes. place is pretty cool if you don't bring your own kayak they have some um, it looks like mostly paddle boards but they do have some like sit on top type kayaks behind the building see if I can zoom in a little better give you an idea yeah that's horrible yeah canoe paddle boat paddle boards and um, like I said I seen some regular oh yeah there's some boats there too show you and if you rent the boat they give you a battery and a trolling motor to go with it so there's options and that's always a good thing all right so this is us get a little more water down let's go see if anything's happening around the trap oh, it rained so much okay there's definitely some minute activity here Problem is, I'm so used to them eating bread that I don't know if you can see that one of those traps. I'm so used to throwing bread out and them just tearing it up. Although all this bread seems to be gone, so maybe I just threw it on the wrong side. So let me chunk it over here, and then I'm gonna get in the kayak and get going. Skunked on the water. Man, I'm struggling. <laughs> I've tried worms, I've tried minnows, I've tried artificial lures that work everywhere else. Uh, this water's really clear. I went with a natural bait, but I don't know. This is a beautiful day. Um, I've been out here for like four and a half, five hours. I've went from one side of the lake to the other um, with no real luck, so. I'm gonna call it a day because I'm starving and it's just time to get out of this kayak and stand up, stretch my legs. So, there's my check-in. Day, whatever day it is, I don't even know now. It's Thursday. We got here last Friday, so yeah. Day six, seven, I don't know, whatever. Beautiful day, glad I got to hang out on the water. What's up guys? All right, I'm out here on day two. The sun is actually shining, or was. It's kind of overcast, but it's, um, I'm feeling, uh, feeling the sun beating down on me. Anyway, 
So, I'm gonna some minnows. I got some live bait. Uh, those guys been out here fishing all day. They're not really seeing anything. That's one of the reasons I always... Oh! I just snagged something, maybe. That stinks. Yeah. Yep, I'm snagged. One sec. All right, yeah cool thing about tiny little hooks is you can just straighten the hook out that worked out good for me but yeah so what I'm using um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna have much luck today but I'm gonna try oh. I just got a weight and a minnow I'm just throwing it to the bottom definitely why I got hung up but I was marking fish I think that was a gar. I had something. Uh. I gotta retie. Crap. <laughs> I had a I think that was a gar, to be honest. Whatever it was. Gave me a uh, pretty clean cut. Mm. Dang. Be right back. Well, seems that minnows, oops, sorry. Seems that minnows are not the trick at the moment. Um, let me take you off here and show you around. I'm in this little back cove. Just nothing happening. I got a bite. I think it was a gar. It broke me off. This freshwater thing's tough. Very tough. Water temperature is 67-ish, bouncing around. Um, I don't know. I thought it'd be warm enough for the fish to be out and moving and feeding, but I don't know, maybe we're not that far into the year. Uh, not quite like um, inshore fishing. <clears throat> inshore fishing like literally all year round so <sighs> it's all new forgot my sunscreen so I'm utilizing my the tools in my clothes like I, I think I said earlier I didn't bring the right clothing for uh, the cool weather but today actually warmed up pretty good <sighs> Ooh, biting flies don't want any of that so all right, I'm gonna paddle around some more. Um, this place is pretty cool. There's a lot of water. I'm in a place that a boat can't get to, or at least a, a decent sized boat. There are a lot of stumps in this place. Lots, lots and lots and lots and lots. I can't say that enough. So if you come here in a boat, you be careful. You ease around everywhere you go. Be back. Two and a half feet deep back here. Oh, I know it would be coming for me soon. There's so much pollen in this water, it's crazy. seems to be eating them except for maybe that gar if that's what that was
sure how to retrieve these. Alrighty. Well, probably the last little bit I'll get on the water. Last opportunity I'll have to get on the water, most likely. So, uh, kill that. So, yeah. I've tried minnows, I've tried worms, I've tried my artificial lures. I've only marked, oops, sorry. I've only marked a few fish all day. And um, I, it looked like fish anyway. I'm a down finder. So, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I don't see a lot of others pulling them in either. I know that's always an excuse, but if they're just not biting, they're just not biting. I guess that's why people go fishing all day in fresh water and never catch a thing. So, all right, the rest of this trip will be um, probably just packing up and winding down. Today was kind of like the chill day to get on the water. And Mandy's in her in her hammock reading her book, and um, I think Sarah's back. So I'm just a head back, cook some supper, throw something on the grill, eat some food, I'm starving. So peace out. Skunked. Skunked on this trip. I'll be back in June. I'll do better. I'll figure this out before then. <laughs> I got some, um, I'm wondering if like crawl, crawfish lures or just crawfish in general would be a good bait to use. I'll do some more research. I didn't research enough about this particular place, but now that we've decided we're going to come back in June, I'll, uh, I'll do some more research. So there's some music playing in the background. Let me uh, kill this before YouTube throws me with a flag. So, later. <laughs>